Well, good evening, everybody. My name is Dominic. Uh, I'm not actually Sam's friend. I'm his, I'm his brother. And as I stand up on here, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, but I guess I'm not as nervous or probably less apprehensive than uh, another in this room who just married my brother. <laughs> Cindy, that is to say, you were nervous because of the wedding and not because you married a man who is crazy over deals, as we have fond memories of and talked about. Um, and who really, really should never work in a kitchen, ever. <laughs> Sam, growing up, I looked upon you as the older brother. It is not always, or it is not because he always seems to be the first to get a new toy, or the first to get a new shirt, or that grandma bought, or and I get the hand-me-downs and stuff like that. I'm glad you and I are of different body shapes so I didn't get the pants too. I'm glad, whoa, sorry guys, got too excited there. I'm glad you are the older brother because you are the first to try new things. You are smart, intelligent, hardworking when you need to be. I could easily follow in your footsteps and learn from your experiences. To exemplify, to give you an example, we're having a buffet tonight. We know that Sam is diverse, he likes to try everything. Like I said, to try new things. And Sam shows his critical thinking by complaining. Usually, tonight has been very good, but usually he complains about how food is self served in buffets and he's too full and he has to get it himself and he's quite greedy as well. And um, so, this is to show that he tries everything and he's quite hard working. Sam shows his tact by telling us that, you know, every dish was pretty good and it has been very good tonight. But in fact, he probably didn't know what he was actually eating. He's trying to intelligently tell me that the food was great and this, should, this is a great venue to come back to. And Sam is smart. As we talked about before, he probably looked on coupons, go through all the deals. I have seen the spreadsheets um, for like the best deal ever. So finally, looking back to our childhood, I respect you for always being the first. Thank you for being the first to take all the blame when we did something wrong. But due to the time constraints, those stories we save for another time. My brother is probably thinking why he asked me to give a speech. Well, I'm the only brother you have, so. <laughs> Cindy, I'm glad that you're marrying my brother. You're compassionate and caring, and you can cook unlike my brother who has burnt in some noodles. Please take good, very good care of him as he does not know what it's eating most of the time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on a final and more serious note, please be upstanding and raise your glasses to my brother, to his beautiful new wife, to Sam and Cindy, or I've been told Sandy. <laughs>